what's up guys, my name's Humiller, and I've gotta just make another video because this has just really been bugging me for a couple days now. Um, Her Interactive is still sending out these fascinating emails. Two days ago, I'm not, I'm not on the ball, we had company over the weekend, they left this morning. Um, they send out this email, uh, and they're, oh, this is just so awful. Uh, the subject line is, to be honest, I had by doubts but when I started the game, and then there's like the, the, the emoji with like the, hmm, like the, you know, that face, that one face, you can, you can see it on screen. And it goes, we understand your concerns, and that's why we would, we would love to share reviews of Midnight in Salem from some of our longtime fans. Now, they don't name the fans, obviously, uh, so that has gotta, it's gotta mean that they wrote them themselves. And the the fourth fourth review in this email specifically, sorry that, that that one on its own really just backs up my theory. So here we go. To be honest, I had my doubts. Now it's my doubts, not by doubts. Great. But when I started the game, it exceeded all expectations. The locations are nice, the plot is solid, and the dialogue is well written. I love the fact that there were so many characters to interact with in this game, which made it feel so much more alive. I loved dot dot dot. Getting to talk to more people, and even seeing more people around town was great. The amount of detail that you all put into this storyline was phenomenal, to say the least. It sparked my curiosity, made me laugh, made me jump, made me gasp, and even made me yell at Nancy. It was such a fun experience. I was especially impressed by the storyline. It's deeper than other ND games, in my opinion. The comparison between May's comprehensive situation and the ancient story of the witches sends an important message, how people are often prejudiced and judge people beforehand. And this next review makes me think this one was written by Little, Little Jackalope, because I know for a fact she started playing the games when Message in a Haunted Mansion uh, had just come out. So let's dive in. I've been playing the Nancy Drew games since there were only three games in existence. I've eagerly awaited each game since then and have continued to play them into my adult years. Just more proof. Dot dot dot. When there was a delay with the latest game a few years ago, I waited with other fans. Dot dot dot. And feeling anxious about whether it would be the same. Dot dot dot. So when the game finally released, I had mixed feelings about actually playing it. So here's my way in. While the new gameplay mechanics are a bit clunky and the increased cinematic scenes and angle play felt a bit clumsy, I really appreciated this game. The story was the most intricate Nancy Drew game I have ever played, and the setting was fun. Each character was unique, and the added storyline with characters like Frank, Joe, and Ned was really good. Like, when they're writing these, do they not proofread them? At all? Who is sending these emails? Who... who is doing this? Because... They, they are, in my opinion, some of the most unprofessional emails Her Interactive has ever sent out, ever. I mean, these, I'm going to be honest, these are shocking. We're offering our longtime fans 40% off Midnight in Salem at Her Interactive through August 3rd at, quote, midnight, end quote, 11.59 p.m. So this is the interesting part. They don't say, oh, let's just go back a bit to the end of this review. There's no quote at the end of it, but there's a quote at the beginning and end of every other review. Anyways, they don't say what time zone midnight is in. Like, is that Pacific time zone? Eastern time zone? Mount? I don't know. What, like, I mean, I know it's Pacific time zone because her interactive is down in Washington, but still, it's like, what? This is not her. Like, they must be just desperate for something. This is really, really sad. And I said it in you know a previous video, her interactive, I love you guys, but what is going on? What is going on? I'm getting I I am I I have worries that her interactive is closing down. Something to sort of back that up is the fact that marketing director Jared Newenhouse left the company back in May. Marketing director. The marketing director of Her Interactive, after 10 years, left the company in May. So unless they hired someone who has no idea what they're doing, I am I'm shocked at these emails because I know Little Jackalope. I know Kalina. She is not this this is not her work. This cannot possibly be her work. I know she's more professional than this. And whether or not you can even say anything in response to this, either privately or 
over email. I, I know that this is not, this is, th there's something going on here. I don't know if this is Penny. I don't know if, um, if Tess is still working there, if this is her. I can't believe it's her. I, I wouldn't, I couldn't believe that it was Tess because her and I have, uh, gone back and forth on email a couple times. And her emails and her personality on live streams speak to the fact that this is not her either. And I highly doubt this is uh, Maureen Carroll, who's been doing um, office work for the company for 17 years. What is going on? What is going on?